Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to change the uh, Clutch Master uh, Focus ST. Uh, you have to remove, you know, the airbox, the battery, the snorkel to get to the it's way in the back here. Um, might even have to remove uh, this cowling. And then the hardest part is coming in here. There's at least four or five nuts way up in there. Uh, it involves taking down this plastic piece right here. Uh, you have to take the knee airbag out. And you have to take this piece out here too. And then here's the new here's the new clutch pedal assembly. It's a whole assembly. I got this from Tasca. It looks expensive, but it was actually only $60. This is a updated one you see here. This one comes with a, a metal plunger. The one in my car right now, I believe is plastic. So I'll uh, take you along on the trip to replacing the clutch pedal. It turns out I have to take the cowling off. There's little push pins here. You just pull up on this piece right here and it allows you to pull it out. There's four of those. Uh, you gotta take that bolt out there. You have to take this screw out here. You have to take off the wipers, index them. See here, I have a, a line here. I still have to make it a little bit darker. You can't really see it there. But you index these because you can get them on alignment. You take off both wipers, <clears throat> and then this whole plastic piece will come off. When you're going to install it, they put a nice little alignment mark there to know exactly where to line that up. They'll give you a plan of access back into where the uh, clutch master goes in the firewall. Put the cowl off now. Um, it just, once you get all the fasteners out, it just kind of like comes out of there pretty easily. Don't forget to take off your symposer, symposer uh, tubing to get the air box off. And you gotta take this, this rubber piece off. It'll also be hooked in, it'll also be hooked in right here. The easiest way to get the air box out is to take this eight millimeter and the screw off here, and then the whole thing should just lift out with this tube and everything here. Okay, once you got the battery out, this kind of this thing kind of just unhooks in the front here. So you bring the battery out this way, and then there's just three bolts here holding in the uh, battery battery tray. You want to unhook your symposer uh, tubing there, and then there's an electrical connector there. I already took it off. It's right there. Be very careful of this hose right here. This is your coolant overflow hose. <clears throat> it's very easy to break that, especially when you're putting this back in. This hose, the symposer hose, is enough to break that. I know that from experience. So after your battery tray out, you can now see it's way back in there where the clutch line goes. So those two lines right here, this one and that one, this is your pressure line. This is from the reservoir. And then I don't know if you can see those two hooks right on top of this thing right here. You gotta take those off. But before you do that, you need to drain some of the fluid out enough to make it so nothing comes down in through this right here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to suck some of the um, fluid out with a syringe and then I'm going to come down there to the bleeder and get the rest out with a vacuum pump. Okay, so this is my setup here. I have this catch can here. So this is just something I made. You can use a hand pump. You can get those from AutoZone Advance. You can rent them too. There's the, um, the bleed valve right there. I've taken the rubber cap off there. I've got this that I'll hook to it. And then I just have a, a vacuum pump. Um, you don't need it this big of a setup. I just use this for speed. So this one, this uh, bleeder screw is, it's not 12, it is 11 millimeters. It's like an off size. Usually they're 10 or eight. Yeah. Yeah, it's 11. So the, to know about this, if you're doing this for the first time, these, for whatever reason, a lot of clutch 
dust gets into the, the slave and it will clog up this um, bleeder valve. So if you're trying to pull fluid out through this and nothing's coming out, don't get worried. Just kind of like tap on it here. Um, you might also need to uh, push air into it. Um, if if, if um, tapping doesn't work, just get a hose, a clean hose, and then just kind of blow air into it with um, with your lungs. And then it should it should start coming out. So you get this airbag out. You have to take the side cover off here. There's gonna be one screw here. And then before you can pull this whole plastic piece off, you gotta get the the knee airbag out. There's a nut here, and there's a nut here. You have to come from behind to get to this one. I first drain the the uh, clutch uh, fluid. And then you just press that in, and then you can get plenty of room to that one. This one here was kind of blind. You have to take off the um, brake switch, and then you can get uh, a ratchet up in there. And uh, going back together, it's probably going to be a little bit tougher. But then this whole plastic piece comes off, and then there's just these little you know metal clips that that go here and here. You just and over there. Once you get that screw off over here though, you kind of just pull. You want to pull where the things are at so you don't break off the plastic. So like this one over here, kind of get your hand under this location and pull towards you. Okay, you have to take off your, your ABS connector here. And it's just two little, two little clips. Or not clips, you press and it's uh, cammed. So you press the two clips, one on this side, one on the other side, and you just pull and it'll come off. It should come off extremely easy. Um, I disconnected and I plugged disconnected and I plugged the um, the feed line. That way I can rotate the feed line. This is gonna be really hard to see, but see that little blue? the thing in the hose that press that in and pull it towards you so if you rotate it you can get access to it easier with like a long screwdriver and the next thing after that is there's two clips there's one cl you press down right there on that one and then on that one right there and then that's your pressure line so there's a better look at the blue connector I just reached in there with a pretty uh, sturdy screwdriver and you gotta be careful. You just press and pull. And now you can see on the side here, this one and that one need to be pushed down. If you look on the thing we bought, you'll see it as well. Those two metal things sticking out on the left and right. You just gotta push down. So this little rubber thing was in the back. It came out with the hose. Um, as far as I can tell, there's not a new one of these on the new master cylinder, so be careful with that. So I got the old one out. This thing is a pain in the ass to get out. You have to have the clutch pedal pressed in, and okay, so if it's sitting on the car like this, you're going to come out, and then you're going to turn it like this, and then it should come out like that. You have to disconnect the steering shaft. Uh, to get it out as well and you have to take a sensor off that goes there and a sensor that goes there I'll show you that in a second how they're supposed to go on so here I had to disconnect the steering shaft it's keyed so you shouldn't really have to worry about um, getting the uh, uh, alignment out but just make sure you don't move your steering wheel just in case so you have to disconnect Uh, this sensor and that sensor are not really sensors and more like switches this uh, just go in there with like um, a pry bar a little small pry bar um, and that'll get it out and then like I said you come out and then once you get past once you get past the firewall there you can turn it this way so the master cylinder is pointing that way and then come out this 
uh, come out and down. Here's the way these switches come out. There's a little tab right here. You just pull and then go down. See how it just hooks in there on these slots. And then this one, this one you just need to twist. And it comes out. And these, these have to come out before you get the pedal out. So I got it all connected back together. Put a piece of paper towel underneath this because if you don't line this up perfectly, you're gonna have to pull it back out. And remember that little rubber O-ring that I showed you? It's gonna stay in there. And then you're gonna have to get it out. And if you try to fish it out and it falls down in there, you could lose it and then you need a whole new line. So you want to make sure that you firmly push in there real quickly and let it snap in. So these are the things that are snapping snapping in that. You leave it in the closed position like that and you just push real firmly and those metal rings will move out of the way and they'll snap in. So now before I put everything back together I'm going to bleed the clutch and uh, make sure there's no leaks and I got good pressure. So this is the way that I bleed. I have a pressure bleeder. Uh, you can do this with a vacuum bleeder. Ford recommends a pressure bleeder. Uh, if you're using a pressure bleeder, don't don't uh, go over one and a half bar, which is like 21 psi. I have a line down there, uh, and then I have some paper towel over there to um, make to check for leaks, basically. Uh, so I'm gonna pressure bleed this. Uh, these clutches kind of suck to bleed, so if you um, don't get a good pedal then you probably have air in the line it's, it's good to tap down there sometimes or even work the clutch pedal back and forth while it's uh, under pressure so you might have a hard time getting these nuts in here onto the airbag it's right there in the center of the screen and you have to go in behind in behind here up to the clutch pedal see my orange glove kind of and you have to press the clutch pedal at the same time and get the air, the uh, ratchet in there. The electric ratchet helps out a lot. I and mean, you just put some uh, tape in here and then it'll hold on the nut. And then you uh, do the same thing with the other side. You're gonna be looking up through there. You'll see the stud. And then you just get the stud lined up and, and then press your button. So now I got everything back together. I bled the clutch. The clutch feels a lot better. Uh, the clutch that I got is an updated part number two. Uh, it has a metal shaft instead of a plastic shaft. Uh, the plastic went back together pretty well. I still have to put the battery in and the snorkel and everything. Uh, but if you're able to get that out, you should be able to get it back in pretty easy. Uh, remember to hook up all your switches, your brake light switch, and your two clutch switches. Um, and don't forget to screw and plug your airbag in. Alright, thanks.